Yeah, it's Pete here, and today I wanted to help you learn to play Bridge in just five minutes. So Bridge is an awesome card game that's played in partnerships, and it just uses a standard deck of cards, where aces are high and twos are low, so ace, king, queen, jack, ten, nine, and so forth. And it's just got the four basic suits, clubs, diamonds, hearts, and spades. And it operates using a premise called tricks and trumps. So what is a trick? Well, a trick is when someone leads a card and everyone has to follow suit. So if I lead hearts, everyone has to play hearts. And the highest heart played would win. Whereas if I led a diamond, everyone would have to follow suit to diamonds. So it might go two of diamonds, queen of diamonds, ace of diamonds, jack of diamonds, and the ace of diamonds would win the trick. Now, if you don't have the suit that was led, you can play any other suit you want, but you can't win the trick. However, there is one exception, and this is trumps. At the start of the game, you get to nominate a suit, which is the trump suit, which means if you can't follow suit, then you can discard anything you want, but if you play a trump, that is better than any of the cards that have previously been played. So if you play the two of clubs, which was the trump suit, that could beat the ace of any other suit that's been played, or any card that's been played. So the trumps are the boss suit and can beat anything that can play. So bridge operates on tricks and trumps, but it's really in two parts. There's the bidding and the play. So the play operates using uh, tricks and trumps, whereas the bidding, uh, this is used to nominate what should be the trumps and how many tricks your partnership is trying to take. So how this works is there are different levels in bridge. So what you're trying to do is bid how many tricks you're going to do. And the bidding goes from the one level all the way up to the seven level. And what this corresponds to is how many of the 13 tricks you're going to take by saying, I'm taking one above the reserve. Now, because there are 13 cards, the reserve set one above halfway. So basically it's one plus six is how many tricks you're going for if you're bidding at the one level. Uh, so if you bid at the seven level, you're going for 13 tricks. So then there are also suits in bridge where you can bid uh, five different things and they've arranged the suits in alphabetical order with clubs being the lowest, then diamonds, then hearts, then spades. And on top of that, you can offer no trumps where there will be no trump suit. So they're all the different things that you and your partnership can bid. And then there are also bonuses for reaching certain levels. So if you manage to take all 13 tricks and bid to the seven level, this is called Grand Slam with a massive bonus. One below that is the small slam. So if you bid to the six level, trying to get 12 tricks, you'd get a pretty big bonus still. But both of those are pretty rare. Most of the bidding and bridge is aimed around getting to the game bonus, which is uh, different depending on what suit you're trying to bid to. Now, if you wanted to offer it in no trumps, it's three no trumps, so you'd only need nine tricks in no trumps. Whereas hearts and spades, also known as the majors, you need to only bid to the four level. Whereas if you wanted to do it in clubs or diamonds, you have to bid all the way to the five level, which is pretty close to the slam level and pretty difficult. So this game bonus is a very healthy bonus that you're trying to bid to. And to do this, you want to work out, do you and your partner both have an above average hand? If both of you have that, then you can probably go for the game bonus. So how do you work out if you've got an above average hand? So most people use high card points, where they give themselves four for an ace, three for a king, two for a queen, and one for a jack. This means there are 40 points in the pack, or 10 points per suit, and because there are four players, then on average you'd get 10 points. So if you if both people have an above average hand, then you want to be going for game. The other thing you want to work out is what should be the trump suit. Now, to do this, you want to work out do we have eight cards in one suit between us? So if you both like the suit enough, or one of you likes a lot and the other a little, then that's probably going to be the trump suit. So these are the two questions you're trying to answer in the bidding, which is how high should we go, which we use high card points, and what should be the trump suit is do we have a fit somewhere, do we have eight cards between these two hands. And this happens in the bidding, and the bidding concludes when there's been three passes, except for one exception where it starts with three passes, because everyone gets an option to start the bidding. And once the auction's over, it moves into the play where someone leads, 
And then something pretty special happens in the play where there's a thing called the dummy and a declarer. So if you won the auction, then your partner lays down all their cards face up for everyone to see. And then you're in control and you can tell them which card to play while you also get to control the cards in your hand as well. So a couple of little tips for uh, the play is you want to make a plan if you're the declarer about how you can get to make your contract. And this varies depending on if you're in no trumps or in a suit contract. But if you're in no trumps, what I like to do is I like to think, how many tricks could I take straight away? So without the opponents winning. So I work out how many can I take straight away, and then I don't rush to take them. I try and build more tricks and then take them when that's enough to make my contract. Whereas in suit contracts, what I like to do is think, if I just took all my cards from the top, how many cards would I be left with losers? So I try and count what would lose. And then I work out how can I get rid of those losers. And also you want to try and consider drawing trumps, which is getting rid of your opponent's trumps. Anyway, this is my five minute lesson on bridge. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.